Vlogtober. I can't believe I haven't chatted to you today because I feel like I've done a lot of things. So I apologise for that. <laughs> this morning I was so tired. I have these phases sometimes since Inez has been born where some of the time with the broken sleep I'm just absolutely fine. Like I can function on broken sleep and less sleep. I'm not... I mean I like a lot of sleep. I'll, I would have considered myself high sleep needs before having her but I, I can function you know I know some people really like literally can't function and then I go through these phases don't know if it's just because we're relatively busy now as well and again other factors but where it seems to affect me a lot more obviously I do think she's been apart from her amazing nine hour stint she's not been sleeping amazingly for a few weeks really so that's probably an explanation but sometimes I just it just feels so much more intense than normal and this morning yeah she I know you don't want you don't want a daily update but I'll just give you one anyway <laughs> she slept longer last night in her, in her cot I think she must have woken up closer to three so yes I need to get to bed earlier that's a big part of it but when I went down to be with her it just felt like I was half awake most of the rest of the time and yeah by the time we got to this morning I was just so tired so I just had an easy start to the day I thought I'd do some reading and just ease myself in I ticked a few things off my to-do list this morning just boring little admin jobs got on my discord to say hey to my lovely book clubbers I don't know we need a name for I don't love saying patrons even though of course that is the point of patreon <laughs> and I don't really want to say like followers I want to say friends so I hopped on there for a little bit oh and I uh, sent a video off to a brand and just been doing worky bits this morning nothing of interest but did just film this outfit for tiktok so you may have seen it already if you follow me on there but i will show you anyway for those of you who like me sometimes well actually i do like tiktok a lot <laughs> in terms of i actually do watch it too but um you know for those of you who are not interested on being in being on tiktok i understand so this is my outfit today i will admit i didn't go to the coffee shop in these boots as you will have seen i went in my um, Burks because I'm lazy. <laughs> it's take, it takes me ages. I find it really hard to get these boots on. I don't know, even more so than other ones, even though they've got a zip. Um, you can see it's not even fully done up. I think it's because I've got them laced really tightly, which I do like because I like the look of it when they're laced really tightly, but it makes them a bit trickier to get on. I should probably just lace them less tightly and then I can do them up properly. But anyway, wearing these trousers again. I want these in every colour. Okay, I did, I was looking at them on the Free People website the other night and I was like, I want you in black. Oh, they have some other, they have a couple of other colours that I'm like, I need you and want you in my life. I love them. My Levi's tee that I got when I went round to their like showroom thing, which I love. It's like a nice lime colour. My riding jacket again. Love it. Wear it all the time. Vintage piece. Jaden Max's. And my little crossbody. I've been looking at, I really think I need a black I do like it with this outfit, the kind of burgundy and green, but I think I need a black crossbody, like a relaxed, chill black handbag, because my ones, the ones I have are quite structured, so I've been on the lookout. Also, somehow, this hair that I put in today, I'm finding it comfortable-ish, you know, I've spoken before about not being really being able to have my hair up, it hasn't given me a headache yet, so we're leaving it as is for now, but anyway, that's my outfit today. And now, I mean, I'm going to take these shoes and jacket off and I think I'm going to read. There's some productive things that I could do, but I actually just want to spend some time reading because I haven't been dedicating enough time to it recently. And so much of this channel is about reading and everything and I need to read. I want to read. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to treat myself to some reading um, for the rest of the day.
Hi my loves, so I am with a little one who did not have a nap today for our nanny. You can see that she is chewing on her finger as well. When will this teething end? Um, I do tend to find with Ines that she usually gets like four teeth at once, so I wouldn't be surprised if like all of her canines pop through all at once. Which is good in some ways, bad in others. We're probably going to be watching films for the remainder of the evening and just surviving until a decent bedtime so she doesn't go to sleep too early. As you saw just now, by the way, I was obviously walking and reading. Um, I found a posture corrector, which I bought last year sometime and then for some reason decided I didn't like or didn't want to use. Um, it's for my upper back because I'm finding, well, I wanted to walk and read just so I just do a really, really low level of activity. Um, sorry about the television in the background, it's really annoying, I know really really low level of activity because sometimes I just find the sitting and lying down just and now the baby's really <laughs> making a lot of sucking noises on her finger. So yeah just want to shoot a really low level of activity whilst I was reading because I do sometimes find that sitting or lying down isn't very helpful for my back um, and obviously I'm trying to correct my pelvic tilt whilst I'm walking but I also want to correct, like, I'm so round shouldered, like, round shouldered from breastfeeding and baby. And also, I wasn't, I didn't have the best posture to begin with. So, but I was finding it really hard to concentrate on both my upper back and my lower back. So, I got the posture corrector out. I'm really enjoying it. And you can wear it under your clothes. So, I think I'll definitely wear this a bit more. I'll, t I'll show you it maybe tomorrow. I'll show you how it works. But. Yeah, I need like the equivalent for my <laughs> pelvis now, basically. Yeah. But so anyway, that was what I was doing because I'm trying to um, like just correct my posture when I'm walking and doing stuff. Um, and whilst I'm reading, it seems like a good time to do some of that. Oh, the baby's touching the screen. Stop, baby. Anyway, I'm just going to hang with my favourite little person now. Yep. Hi, my loves. I was going to chat to you down here for a bit, but Zach is busy watching football. So, yes, managed to get the baby down close to, well, actually, it's her normal bedtime. Which is good, I find it's, even if she's like extra tired, it's better to try and do that just because of it's her rhythm. Um, and I'm going to make a cup of tea, I think. Head upstairs. I finished The Trees by Percival Everett um, earlier. And I'm still making my mind up about how I felt about it, but I definitely don't feel as strongly about it as a novel as I do Telephone. I read earlier this year. I will try and make my thoughts more coherent but I'll probably chat to you a little bit more about it upstairs but for now I'm gonna make my tea and then head up and yeah. Hi my loves, so I'm upstairs now as you can see it's face mask day and it's just reaching the painfully tingly stage which I hate and I have to like sort of press on it because it's really uncomfortable. My skin is slowly looking a little bit better, but mostly I'll tell you why that is. It's because I have tried, I've had a few days where I've been like a no, on a picking ban. I'm not allowed to touch it, not allowed to look at it close up in a mirror. Literally just can't even look at it because I just can't stop myself from picking it. So. Goodness knows how long it will last, but it is looking better just for that. I'm, I've definitely got like painful under the skin blemishes, some of them. I feel like I can see a couple which are sort of brewing, but um, just looks less red and irritated when I don't pick them. And they do heal up of their own accord <laughs> after a few days. I do think my skin's getting to the point where it's prob probably getting too dry and then overproducing oil but the thing is it's a bit of a crash 22 because either 
I do that and I tend to get like smaller blemishes or if I leave it and don't use something like the benzoyl peroxide I'll have many many more so I kind of got to um, do a bit of a balancing act with that and hopefully this routine that I'm doing at the moment will sort of carry me through into a better phase so that's a little skin update for you also I do try and avoid having caffeine in the evenings however I notice exactly no difference in myself in the baby in anyone when I have some <laughs> I've been drinking tea from a very very young age because 90s parenting I just don't think that it has much of an effect on me to be honest but I do try and avoid it I do obviously have my lemon and ginger tea I was having my hot chocolate but tonight I just fancied a proper cup of tea these days I'll usually have probably one cup of tea and one coffee a day maybe two cups of tea so like one in the morning one now um, and a coffee um, I don't know if you have noticed or if you've been around for a long time my Diet Coke consumption has gone down hugely significantly ever since I was pregnant really um, I couldn't handle the fizziness so and just drank less obviously because I had to keep my caffeine consumption under control to some degree so and I just got out of the habit of it so I'll have maximum like one of the 330 milliliter cans a day sometimes none sometimes a couple of sips of Zax or something um, he's drinking a lot less as well so we're generally down on our diet coke consumption which is really good um, and my main beverage these days is water I used to have a favourite squash like a sugar free squash that I absolutely adored from Robinson's but they discontinued my favourite flavour and nothing else lives up to it so yes for those of you worried about me complaining about my sleep and my caffeine consumption before bed trust me it will make no difference to my sleep I tell you what, I used to, I was just talking to Zach the other day about how I feel like I will never sleep like I once slept. My mum says this about um, life after me and Indy, like pre-us, she would have just gone to bed and slept through the night and then got up and gone about her day. But she just, she doesn't sleep through the night um, and I feel the same way even though I'm only 18 months in and maybe I will get it back. I can, I can just not even remember the days because this is what used to happen to me. I used to put my head on the pillow, I'd be asleep within 10 minutes and then I would wake up in the morning <laughs> and I would not have any memory of any time in between that. Whereas now I feel like I just see too many different hours of the night and I have done for a long time. I was also saying to Zach though, that sounded like hell on earth to me pre-child. The sleep thing is a big thing I think for everyone, right? That's the thing you're like most worried about when you have a baby. One of the things you're most worried about is not getting a good night's sleep anymore because everybody loves their sleep. And if you said to me, well, you're not going to sleep through the night now for like two years, I would have cried. <laughs> so many tears, freaked out, um, wondered how I will ever do that and it's different for everyone I know but I do have to say whilst it is painful some days are better than others I know I've been talking about it a lot in Vlogtober at the moment I think it's combining with other stresses while she's been sleeping longer in her cot when she's with me she's much more wakeful blah 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 Whilst I have been complaining about it, I I personally find it manageable. Like I was saying, I think I was saying this, was I saying it earlier or? I can't remember. It is doable. You do get used to it. It does become the norm. So much so that I just don't even remember. That's why I was having my epiphany with Zach. I was like, gosh, remember those days when I just go to sleep and then wake up in the morning? Like you just, it's a new normal, that's the way with a lot of things with parenting. And I'm going to do my little parenting Q&A at some point in Vlogtober, I asked some questions on Instagram. But that is 
the way when you have a baby like it feels so intense so overwhelming like how will I do this for years on end but it, you just need to get used to chain, big changes and accepting them, letting them come to you is often, I find, the easiest and healthiest way of dealing with big change like that. But anyway, that's for another day. Um, I was also just thinking, completely different topic, whilst I was putting my face mask on, of the glorious day when I will I mean, I will be really sad to lose this bookshelf in front of me with all the books on it. Um, I've said this before, I will really miss looking at it from bed. However, I will have my own living room full of my books, so I feel like that's going to be some consolation. And I'll probably just enjoy sitting in my library room instead. I will really miss looking at um, my books from bed. And in our new bedroom, we will have a bookshelf in our bedroom, but as like I said before, it'll be kind of round our head and behind us. So, but the glorious day, looking forward to it, when I unpack all these shelves up and transfer them to the new house. I can't wait. I'm so excited. I don't know whether I'll do one video or like multiple videos even on it and maybe take you through like every book on my shelves is that really really boring would you enjoy that a little like mini series goodness only knows what i've got in here because some of these shelves are triple stacked as well so there's books in there that i've definitely not seen for a couple of years at least yeah i am so excited that day but as i've said before i'm pretty certain my bookshelves are like number 3052 on the list of things that need to get done at the house, pretty sure they are a low priority and will not be happening for quite some time. <laughs> so I don't expect to do it anytime soon, but I mean, I'm hoping spring of next year, right? We're looking to move in early next year. So yeah, Zach was round at the house today, I think. By the way, he's been finalising things with Deval, like I said. Um, little things that we were chatting about the other day. That is being delivered in December. I know at one point it was going to be late October, early November. It's being delivered in December and Deval aren't installing themselves. Our builder is. So, yes. I'm hoping that it will be installed in December. That That's when they're dropping it off, is early December. Hopefully there'll be like a bathroom done. So, like I've said before, if you missed it, I'm hoping that the house will be literally livable at Christmas time slash New Year, but I imagine due to the last minute nature of things as we move into the end of the year um, and also it just being a super busy time of year anyway and all our, all our other commitments that we have in December, you know, moving is a big thing, especially with a little one because I feel like you want to make sure it's really livable for them and comfortable for them so we're not planning to actually move in until January hopefully February latest <laughs> and again I don't expect the house to be done then there's so many rooms it is an enormous renovation of pretty much every aspect of the house you could imagine all that was left was basically outer walls couple of the rooms I guess and as many of the original features as we could find and keep it is a huge job hence why it's been so boring for you all for so long because there's so much structural work to be done and so much like internal wall stuff to be done at some point it will move this is what I've been told really quick and it will suddenly look like a lot more like a house and hopefully we will all enjoy not just me but also you looking at the house as it should be <sighs> I can't tell you how much I'm looking forward to that day anyway my love so I'll stop rambling on um I'm probably not gonna chat to you much more this evening because I'll only be just getting showered and in my pjs thank you so much for watching today I think I'm gonna read a little bit of stoner so this is gonna be my thing is that I'm gonna try and read one book at a time pretty much I might even, when I finish Stoner and my buddy reads, try and power through a story of a new name which I've been listening to. I might try and like read and listen to it at the same time and like 
do some like power hour, hours on it and try and get through it. I have periods of time where I just cannot listen to audiobooks. I'm quite picky with my audiobooks anyway. And then there's uh, sometimes, especially when I'm not loving the book, I really struggle with them. I'm always on the hunt for good audiobooks. I actually need, there's some, someone recommended a great something on the Discord actually the other day and I, did I write it down? I don't think I did. So I need to go and investigate that and maybe make an audiobooks channel in the Discord so we can discuss that because finding good audiobooks is actually really hard. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, sometimes I really struggle to listen to them. Just, I guess I'm not an audio kind of person when it comes to literature like I do it and some books are really really good um audiobooks and some books just aren't most books just aren't I would say <laughs> I prefer the act of reading for sure but audiobooks are absolutely reading like if you love audiobooks and you you know struggle with reading in other aspects or you just like audiobooks in general I do not look down upon them at all it's just me and my little brain and my how easily I get annoyed by people's voices. <laughs> I'm probably gonna read a little bit of Stone now once I'm all showered and then go to sleep. Zach and I managed to do the same thing that we did with For All Mankind, which is we watch like binge watch a series and then like and the finale hasn't come out yet. We did that for all mankind, like we binge watched it and managed to do it just up to the point that the finale hadn't come out. So the finale of Bad Sisters is out tomorrow. We've watched all the other episodes. We watched the last one that we watched last night. So yes, we're waiting on the final episode of Bad Sisters and I'm very intrigued as to what is gonna happen. I have my theories, but I'm very interested. Thank you so much for watching today and I will see you again very soon.